It's me, Patrick, with another video where I'm showing to you how I use Xamarin. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to download Xamarin Studio on a Mac OS X device and how to install it, since it was a very, very uh, often asked question to me. First thing we're going to do is we are starting Safari and type in Xamarin. And you see all the suggestions says in Xamarin.com, which we're going to navigate. So what do we need? We're probably going to our products and say, well, we're going to Xamarin platform. And everything uh, it says on the page, create native iOS, Android, Mac and Windows apps in C Sharp, which is our goal. And what we're going to do is say, download now. Now we have to enter some uh, information, like our full name, our email address. Ah, that's basically, that's basically for, oh, it's quite a phone number, which is ridiculous. Company is also ridiculous. And let's say just me. It is regardless if you're entering correct data or wrong data because Xamarin Studio starts the download immediately uh, what you get there now is not xamarin studio itself it's getting a usual download or installer for xamarin studio which if you started uh, downloads the xamarin studio so we're hitting double on the xamarin studio installer we can minimize these and well let's say install xamarin okay that's the confirmation box that we are using an application from the internet. Oh, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Last time to allow reporting of anonymous user statistics. I don't care about that shit. So application went through the cross offer to get you started Xamarin. We are not going uh, for the Android part, we're going for the iOS part and the Mac part. We need the model framework, the studio, the iOS, and the Mac. That's okay. Let's continue. And now the Xamarin Studio is being downloaded. There's a total of 848 uh, megabytes. And as you see, my internet connection is not the fastest. So I will continue with the video if the framework is downloaded. The Xamarin has downloaded and installed the Xamarin Studio application. We can now navigate to the Xamarin Studio with our spot search or with the programs folder and we are hit Xamarin Studio and now Xamarin Studio is open. Uh, what do we see here? The left hand side is our, our project navigation. We can open existing projects. We can create new solutions or stuff like that. In the middle section, we are seeing some news from Xamarin results. Like they are trying to describe how to explore backends options with Xamarin Podcast, uh, customize Xamarin forms. And on the right hand side, which is very handy, especially for the beginning, you see some example applications which you can download, analyze how to decode it, how to, and how things are going to work. What we're doing right now is we are creating a new solution. In the new solution, new project or dialogue wizard, we're seeing cross platform iOS, Android, Mac, and others. We are heading into an iOS application. And um, we're trying to, to build a single view application because it is the simplest way to start. So we are setting single view. Our app is first app, the identifier. I'm used to begin with the country, then my shortcut first app. We can say if the application should run on iPad or iPhone or on both. We are selecting both, and our target is iOS 8.4. We are hitting next, we see first step, and that is okay. And we are setting the creation point of our project on the desktop. So open and hit create. In the background, it is a folder on our desktop created with all the initial code files, directories, 
and data are included. What do we see here? We see our solution. This is our project, our references, system core, Xaron hours, and stuff like that. I don't go into detail in these points. We see on our packages, death cloud agent. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is us. We see our resources and our other app delegate, info, private list, main CS and stuff like that. What we are going to do right now is we are running the application. Uh, previously, it came a dialogue where you have to enter your Xamarin email address and your Xamarin password because we are trying to to use native code and the problem is if we are not registered as an indie subscriber or higher we have to pay for it and you, uh, on the other side you get a 30-day trial so we are heading in and start the Xamarin IRS trial subscription one of two computers hit close if you are planning to purchase a subscription from Xamarin they offer us various plans. If you head into the Xamarin page and go to the pricing menu point, you're seeing different plans. Uh, the cheapest is the Indie plan, which costs about 25 bucks a month, the business plan, and an enterprise plan. You see the differences uh, here. And to get a start edition, which is uh, the edition you downloaded, the problem is you cannot accept native code. But there is, uh, as I mentioned before, the 30 days trials, which we have added into it. So we're going to right now, hit start. What is necessary to debug is that you have Xcode installed with the IRS uh, simulator. Because Xamarin puts the application on the IRS simulator, which is delivered with the Xcode. So what do we see here right now? As you've seen before, we got the Scott screen, we first app, and now we got the blank web page which is of course not very not very beautiful so to to uh, change the web page uh, we got the storyboard the storyboard is simple as a UI designer for iOS application within Xamarin and also within the Xcode project so we are seeing here our storyboard uh, this is probably the start point and now we got our web page so what we're going to do is head in a button. Not a little bit too fast. A button and label, like we did in our previous video. So what else Xamarin offers? On the right hand side, we got our toolbox where we put in the, the objects for our user interface and underneath it, we got our properties. So we see here UI label, that is probably the class and we say LBL for label main. And with default zero text. Then we got our button. We said the name of the button. Uh, you have to say the name of the identity of the button is the name that you're using in your code and not the name which is displayed. So we got BDN and set main button. Click me is probably or is the text which is displayed and we have to make the button a little bit wider to see the whole text now we're gonna add a web handler for our custom click me button as you see on the right Xamarin pops up with a message and says add the web handler and press up and down for the location and hit enter if you're ready so we are hitting enter what Xamarin does uh, is they created the method button main button and with uh, touch up inside that is not actually the method but uh, the or the action when the button is fired but it is probably linked to touch up inside so we can rename it anytime or anything you want but if you look at uh, the button and then get to events we see up inside and there is our button. So we go back. We're removing the not implement exception. Now we are adding uh, uh, or changing uh, the property from our LVL main, our label main and the text property. 
and we're gonna say button clicked. That isn't that uh, great program at all, but we're uh, also adding a counter and to show up how often the button is clicked, that should to you guys uh, provide information that the button fires the touch of inside method every time we clicked in. So we are declaring an integer and says button click count we are in a large it is with the value of zero so what we're gonna doing right now is this button click count and we are increasing the value before the button uh, before the text field is manipulated that is necessary because we analyze with zero and if we are counting the button after the text was manipulated we are seeing zero or we have to manipulate the text again which is not very handy now we are hitting our start so the the application is loaded on the debugger again or if it is loaded previously it is updated now we're seeing our start screen we're seeing the click me button and now if we are clicking the button the text should be uh, should appear with button click and with count one. Well, that's working, and with clicking, the counter is increasing with every single click. Well, that is basically uh, everything in this video. I show you how to download Xamarin, how to install Xamarin, how to subscribe to the 30 days trial, or I also showed you the different plans which are available if you're interested in and then I showed you how to create an iOS application which is based on a single view application that shows up a button and a label which is manipulated by each click of the button. Guys, I would appreciate any support if you can hit the like button. I would uh, be very thankful if you can leave a comment. I would appreciate it too and if you have any suggestions for a future video Please let me know. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.